walnuts and um no expensive eh? i know rich guy walnuts and dates good combo um i'm not just looking at myself i'm saying good morning and I had an intuitive feeling to show you a combo of works this morning. These are older ones. Um, and yeah, no, they're, they're both quite dear to my heart um, and they work well together. Um, I'm also going to um, suggest that you consider collecting uh, something. So, uh, and I'll tell you why. Um, and it's more that I'm not very good at that side of it. I actually want to be making the stuff, I, you know, um, but I do want to, well, anyway, enough of that. I'm not being a salesman. I'm talking about my work, I'm talking about why it's, um, relevant, but I am showing you a combo. I've got a coffee on the stove too, and I'm going to be going to get it in a minute, so you will forgive me. Abstract elemental. Stormy sea spirit, maybe. Kind of a cruciform tornado. It's a big thick crust, big thick crust, it's quite stable. So it's kind of collaged expression of them. Oh, got funny, <laughs> funny little loop there next to an old fork. Inside job. Before it was called inside job, it was called pig liar controller. Might get that coffee. That's another little one. You've seen it before if you've been looking at these. Wake up crying. Embody integrity. So we um, diary doodle sketch, quite soft ephemeral. Yeah, you know, all presented nice for your clean apartment. Um, yeah. I'm going to say more about the works. At <laughs> one time, there was a, the Dunedin Public Art Gallery staff in the house looking at a big good work and I burnt the coffee that I was heating up. Fuck, they freaked out. They literally ran away. Um, I think the allotted time of community engagement with the natives was over there. I think they get paid for an hour. After an hour they run away. It's all 
part of the all part of the corporate plan of uh, uh, Treaty of Waitangi kind of uh, commitments to the locals or something. I don't know. Full of shit wankers. Um, although this one should be, you know, in a public collection actually. So it's called Inside Job. Um, I presented it to Marion McGuire at PG Gallery. Um, I think she, she might have even shown it. Um, but it was um, it was about the mosque shootings. It was a it was a eulogy work about the mosque shootings and the fact that my brother hung himself around the corner from that gallery. I kind of related the two things. Um, it's kind of an incision as well. You know, like this, I, I learned this after. I mean, that, that's kind of a cruciform, uh, kind of a why. Um, the surface was actually made in 2003 or 2002. I remember where it was. Uh, first showed it in Bath Street Gallery in Auckland, actually. But yeah, I've worked on it considerably since, so it's not the same work. That was when it was called Pig Liar Controller. But I liked, I liked the fact that the energy of that crossed over to this other subject, which is inside job. So it's basically the same, the same story, just differently. And in this case, too, I've sort of... Um, I mean, this is my prattle around it. You can make of an abstract painting what you like. You know, I mean... I mean, as a painting, it's got a different story than the, than the narrative I'm putting on. Except that I locate a kind of sad, desperate violence in it. That's what I'm talking about. That's my obvious connection, right? And it's elemental too. So there's a sort of um, earth changey, you know, are these holes caves? Are they eyes? Are they bullet holes? You know? Yeah. So um, I find I find woman galleries quite um, reluctant to want to do anything that's um, against the correct narrative of the state. Funny that um, women are quite programmed by the correct narrative of the state generally, especially retail women. Um, so art, you know, therefore plucks out any of the um, gritty dissonant. Um, sort of uh, masculine defensive aspects of uh, cultural signalling um, which women should find um, uh, uh, comforting you know that men would defend them or you know defend what's right in the culture but um, we'd, we'd rather let ourselves be raped uh, and keep it quiet um, yeah so you know my dad was killed um, the role of my dad was killed, the man is alive. Um, my brother is killed um, in the care of the state. Okay, He killed himself. He, he also was trained to kill himself. Uh, and my mother was killed in the care of the state as well. So <clears throat> I've lost my family to um, government violence and, and, you know, just neglect and um, you know, I'm not going to say it was intentional or anyone was on a list or anything like that but um, yeah so um, but I do I do know of broader agendas um, yeah. and um, so when we're talking about inside job we're talking about collusion um, with you know the gangsters that, that work in America on their um, mass shooting sort of um, strategies uh, of uh, crowd control, uh, fear porn for population control, and um, disarming um, disarming the population, and yeah, just uh, weaponized information as well. So um, yeah, and people did die there. That was uh, a ritual sacrifice. That's that's what New Zealand, you know, New Zealand, New Zealand's wee satanic baptism, right there, and the head bitch of the country um, was <coughs> was milking that for her master. So make no mistake. I mean, I'm talking to the boomers now, all right? The boomers that thought they were standing up against rainbow warrior bombing, thought they were standing up against nuclear. Um, 
disarmament and no nu nuclear ships or subs in New Zealand waters, thought they were standing up against apartheid with no, no rugby with fascists in our country. Yeah? You know, I'm a child of that fucking revolution. What are you doing now, girls? You know, sitting around your lifestyle properties, right? Well, you might have spent your life trying to help people. I don't know, you know? I'm sorry to be a bitch. Um, it's just, you know, I, the double standards of, of what's happened, how we have turned into a fascist, um, fascist slave country, you know, taking it up the fucking ass by, by petro military, uh, New World Order, global Satanists, you know, um, mind control, just pisses me off no end. Don't know why any, I mean, you know, I mean, fucking even Nicky Harger, you know, you know fell for the scamdemic. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so anyway, that's a good work. Um, it also dovetails to me to sort of the, the um, possibility of manipulated um, fault line stresses uh, in the Southern Alps. Um, you know, sort of earthquake machine tech, um, Rothschild sort of ownership of Canterbury. Water rights. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. There, there are telltale signs there, though, of, um, you know, agency, agency um, involvement. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm just a regular conspiracy guy, you know, you don't have to dig deep to actually. So this is work on paper. It's quite interesting. This was a favourite of Jeanette's recently. She liked this one. Um, yes, it's got a kind of blurry white cross in it. Yes, it's got squiggly lines in it that could be a ghost, phantom, or um, a mask. Um, and it says something like, You may vote for the owner of the plantation. <laughs> Going blind to the underworld. Yeah, so sort of an anarchist type statement there again sort of bullet holes um, yeah you know <clears throat> like voting just you know it's just schoolyard ego shenanigans but you know the, the same master is always going to be working this jail We should be master of our own jail, internally speaking. You know, that's another nice segue with uh, this theme of inside job, you know. My, how much of my own mind has been ripped and gutted. You know, and, and you know, can I suture that up and, and control and stem, stem the, the energy leak? You know, the parasitic energy leak, can I stem the flow? <clears throat> yeah, so, you know, it could be biophysical, psychic work as well, I'm talking about here. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, art's nice like that, it slides around. I sort of see a kind of primitive stick figure right there. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if I indulge myself with a long fucking um, talk, well, then I will. I mean, you know, I know there's bugger all people looking at it, and, and if you are looking at these, you're probably my friend. Hello. But they're also a record, regardless of what happens right now. Yeah, so I mean, that one would look pretty cool framed in a crisp little contemporary boxy frame that costs quite a lot these days. Um, so those have been retailing for about 18, 1900. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, they're serious little works on paper. I'm not showing you all the ones that I don't think work, you know, like that one works, I like it. Yeah, it's an honest protest picture, just like, you know, one of the ones from Ralph or McCann or, or whoever else did them. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's Kiwi existential um, dark kind of stuff from those um, cultural 
uh, landscape things I said. Um, oh, the big one. Uh, when I first showed that in um, Bath Street Gallery, they were seven grand uh, for a big one like that. That's 1.5 by 1.2 meter canvas, uh, mixed media. Um, they were seven grand in 2002. Um, now they're double that. They doubled that. Um, and um, genuine little um, wake up crying doodles. Um, yeah, that's just day four. I think they've been going for 350 in galleries, that, that kind of size. Um, frame, another 50 bucks. So I suppose it's. Um, I suppose it's 400 bucks, isn't it, to you? But um, with kind of minor work, you know, uh, I'm a lot more sort of loose. I'm a lot more, because I do have quite a lot of minor work. And, um, you know, I mean, you know, I bothered to frame this one because it's not, it, it's not as, um, it's not as intentionally chatty, you know. It's a little bit more l lucid and, um, and it's got a little natural sort of, um, organic kind of unconscious chat you know which it didn't really intend it, it's a slipped out like a fart and um except the big black thing in the middle which is kind of a nice it's a hell of a contrast um velvet <coughs> behind the hole so yeah yeah, yeah yeah james robinson original 400 bucks go on um yeah and <coughs> Um, right, so I'm going to show you something else. I mean, yeah, I could do this all day. I've, so, works that combo with each other. And I realise the grey, dark thing, you know, living with it would be a little bit, um, you know, it's a bit of a thing. Um, but then again, it depends what you value, you know. If, if your parents were into that, you know, class struggle, hang on. If your parents were into that class struggle, kind of idealism of um, democracy and that and you know when socialism was a good thing because uh, now socialism is like basically communism which is basically um, fascism so you know big brother um, so you know I'm pretty I'm pretty ho-ha about socialism uh, I mean maybe like <coughs> standard standard socialism where you know everyone gets a fair deal is a good idea, but actually, kind of modern socialism is more like mind control and weakness for everybody, which is also why the male painter model that I represent, even though I am a soft male, um, <laughs> um, that's why you know being cancelled is is not just you know they don't like that I, you know, um, am rude sometimes or, or stand up for myself, you know, um, or, you, you know, actually think that I'm an equal with the people that I'm participating, showing my work with. I mean, that's usually the problem, is that I think I'm an equal. Um, funny that, isn't it, in a qualities fear country. Um, yeah, I take all the risk on every level and they fuck up the marketing you know because they've got no spine because they're controlled little consensus robots you know like what i'm doing is fucking classic you know if you were in the spanish civil war you know if you were goya fucking painting you know um uh firing squads shooting down your your buddies you know i mean yeah. Inside job. Apparently the king of Dubai came over and flew the, the rest of them over to give them all holidays and that. So I don't know what deal the, the fucking agencies were doing with whoever to get all that shit done. But they got who they wanted to get and um, they hurt a lot of people and they um, made a hell of a propaganda um, video about it. The arsehole did it. It's just fucking Manchurian candidate idiot. 
No one's saying he didn't do it. He did it with a hell of a lot of help, probably. Yeah, this is interesting. This is hanging by... This is interesting. To me, this is interesting. This is called Waves and Points. Um, there's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah wait. Um, oh, I wrote it on the back. Fuck, it was quite a good title. Waves and Points. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Non-local. Non-local. Waves and Points. Hmm. Yeah, so I see a skull. I see a vague skull. Uh, I see a vague mound pyramid. It's cosmic. It's ghosted. Uh, I see points into the void. Uh, I see waves and energy. Uh, I see a sort of energy slash being slash DNA coil slash totem slash sig signature sine wave standing wave yeah 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 so there's a sort of cosmic patterning there and it uh, exists on the other side as well it's a sub layer underneath yeah and I, I, I kept it I kept it light and ephemeral and you know, um, and then and then yeah. So every time I sort of thought it wasn't finished and it was a bit vague, I could make associations between the vaguenesses and um, yeah, and came up with quite an obvious and strong sort of um, associative poetic metaphysic that 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 felt like a sort of spiritual message to me, the maker, about the subject that that it was telling me it was about. So, um, yeah, you know, when you're in that dialogue, liminal dialogue space with, with your own art, there's a little fragment of mirror there too. Bing! Yeah. Um, yeah, best not fuck with it to, you know, make it for somebody else who might like it. Um, that, that X up there, you know, Generation X or X marks a spot or whatever, it's uh, some masking tape that I put on and took off and it's, you know, sort of stencils. Stitching, yeah, and uh, what's that stuff? Indian ink on the water outside. Mmm, bleedy. Yeah, it's all fixed. It's all pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. So it's a soft one. This is um, this is ash from when I burnt the whole hot coals. But it's it's ash, and then sort of with a with a mist of glue over it, so it's fixed basically. It's glue and ash. Yeah, but you know, again, sort of. It's ash, but it's 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 cosmic matter, you know. It's it's void gas, you know. It's it's dust, and it's the oort oort field, or yeah. I mean, it's those things, and <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, it's odd. It's odd. Yeah, it doesn't not work. Oh fuck, we're up to twenty three whole minutes. All right, I better leave it. Got an, got a lot more. Um, Got a lot more books and paper I wanted to share, but we'll do that some other time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna put this um in uh in my spellings um blog blog thing on my website. And um I'll get some high res pictures of it too. It's just a it's just an example of an obvious combo. You know, there's some um... Yeah. Anyway. God bless.